Hey YouTube, Desi here back with my Sparkle Things and I'm back with another video. Hey guys, I'm not gonna talk about this. It was a last minute little situation that I had to get through. But we're just gonna get straight to it. Basically, this video is basically surrounded by basically recent things in tiktok some of these things have been like happened like a few months ago maybe and some of these things are just like about tiktok in general and like their main problems and most of it is basically just like certain drama in tiktok i'm not like i'm not really i'm not really in tune with every single bit of tiktok drama but I am with some of it, you know? So we're just going to talk about, like, the main drama that a lot of people have been talking about. And I was just watching a video about this little girl who's the same age as me. But she acts like she's not. We're not going to say any names, but I'm sure you guys know who. Anyways, um... Okay, sorry, so, <coughs> so, um, had to clean up my storage a little bit, but we're just gonna get into the video, I have, like, let me think, oh, I have six topics, the six topics, basically a sum of them all, but, yeah, so we're gonna go ahead and get into this video, okay, so this first one, it's a trend that shouldn't even exist, like it's not officially a trend but like as much as people do it then it might as well be a trend but you should already know if you're fluent in tiktok or whatever you should already know what i'm talking about but <clears throat> this trend of saying the n-word now i don't like when people say the n-word you know I don't I don't really say it myself you know like I feel like it's it's no reason for people to say it I feel like <clears throat> I feel like black people really shouldn't say it either because it was a word used against them in like a bad way so <clears throat> I don't really get why they say it. I mean I guess they say it because they feel good that they're able to say it and I guess they can throw it in other people's faces I don't I don't really get why they say it like why we say it or whatever and I, I don't want to say we because I don't say it but <coughs> but basically um so yeah it's basically been a trend for some reason people saying the n-word and I think it's a trend because um <coughs> they get so much attention from it like when Chase Hudson like little huddy little huddy said it he you know he got a lot of backlash, but, like, he still had a lot of supporters to the point where, um, he had a lot of supporters to the point where, like, he still had people on his side. Like, right now, I don't know how many followers he has on TikTok. I think it's over 17 million, maybe. But, <clears throat> so, yeah, some of them might not even know about that. Um, but there have been many other people who have said it, and... <clears throat> I, I don't really support people like that, you know? And I hate those certain, like, people, like, those fans that are like, it's over, get over it, it doesn't matter. And then there was this one person, like, I literally screenshot it because I was looking at his comments one time because um, I was looking at this one video and I went to the comments and I screenshotted it too. I think I had two screenshots of, like, two different comments and I, I can put them on here. But, like, someone was talking about some, leave him alone, get over it, da 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 Um, he's 17, he can say whatever he want. Baby, you're, it don't got nothing to do with his age. It don't matter how old he is, that don't mean that he could just say it. Like, it, that, like, it's not even about his age. Like, what, what does him being 17 have to do about it? I don't want to hear you say anything. Anyways, so yeah, it's just it just shouldn't be a trend with people saying the n word because it's just it's it's spreading negativity, honey. 
Like, why, why are they making this a trend? And it's like not even funny. And I think it's like so many people doing it because they don't feel like nothing super bad is gonna happen. Like I remember that one TikTok where they were talking about um, and they were doing the little thing with the water and that was like, like that, that was just so much worse than like saying the word because it, it was so bad. Like, I'm just not going to talk about that part anymore because we all know about that one video and thank God they got expelled and they did it to themselves. Why, why would you even make that video? How was that benefiting you? Did, did they think they were going to make the video and get away with it? Like, it don't matter if you delete it, girl. It's already spread it everywhere. It really don't matter. But, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. This video is definitely going to be long because I really have a lot to say about these topics. But, yeah, I think that's all I'm going to say about this topic. Basically, it should not be a trend. End it. Point blank. Period. So, supporting these people who have said it and aren't supposed to say it. Okay? Cool? Great. We're going to get into the next topic. Okay, so the next topic is some drama. It's died down a bit. I, I haven't really been on TikTok in like a few weeks. Um, but it's it's some drama in the hype house. Clearly they're they're really struggling here. But yeah. So um it's between Thomas and Daisy. Their drama and I know like my opinion about this doesn't really matter, but I just wanted to do a video about it because, like, I'm tired, okay? I'm bored. So I just decided to spread my opinion about it. I'm not trying to bring things back up, but I just wanted to spread my opinion about this. Um, but basically, I honestly don't have much to say. I didn't watch Daisy's video, and I didn't watch Thomas' video. But I have watched, like, other, like, drama channels, like, like clips of both of their videos. And it just, it seems like they both are somewhat telling the truth. It just feels like they're like telling, like they're both telling their truth. And then there's a middle part where their stories are like mixing up because Daisy's saying all this stuff, all these people who have paid. And then Thomas is saying these people haven't paid. And then it's just a lot of things. But I feel like, I feel like Daisy shouldn't have gotten kicked out because she put a lot of money down for the house um and you know she worked very hard trying to help the house i mean thomas did too but like it just seems like thomas is so controlling and she was just trying to help try to make sure that the house would survive and everything and he just wouldn't let her in and like chase is a part of that it was both of them doing it and like you know, Daisy was, like, the one who put down all that money. And Chase, I think he put down the same amount as Daisy. I don't know. I've seen different resources. But I think Chase put down the same amount of, of, of money as Daisy. So, I feel like they should have, like, like, it doesn't, well, I feel like it doesn't really matter how much money you put down. If you put down money, then you should all be co-founders. Like, everybody who put down money should be co-founders. But for some reason, Chase and Thomas thought it was it was all about them, and no one else could be like co-founders, I guess. Um, and when I say no one else, I just mean like Daisy in general. And Daisy was really trying to help. Um, Daisy was really trying to help build the hype house and make sure that it would survive. And she was literally trying to help, and he was like not letting her. He was like, "You're not a co-founder." And who let him decide that? He really out here thinking he's God or something. But yeah, that's all I really have to say because their drama kind of like died down. I don't think there's any new stuff yet. If it was, it would have popped up on YouTube and that's what I've basically been on lately. So yeah, that's what I've basically been on lately and nothing new has really popped up. So we're just going to get into the next topic. Okay guys, so the next, like, it's not, it's not really drama anymore. I don't think it is. But the next topic I'm basically going to talk about is Chase and Charlie, the power couple, whatever. Anyways, so I've literally seen, like, I'm not really, like, I don't really care about their relationship, to be honest, because I don't really care about either one of them. Like, I'm not trying to say I don't care. Like, I, I really don't care about Chase, like, at all. But, like, Charlie, it's, like, 
I'm not one of her diehard fans, and I'm not really a fan either. And it's not even a thing like I don't like her. It's just I don't have a reason to like her, like in my mind. But anyways, so basically, everyone knows about their breakup. But I wanted to talk about stuff. So basically, I want to talk about how um, I wanted to talk about how Chase would be all like i mean charlie was kind of a part of it too but i could like see it in her face in some of these videos that she like really wanted to be with him or whatever but i want to i want to talk about how he would be all like oh we're um we're not exclusive i think that's what he said he would be like we're not exclusive in all these interviews are you dating charlie are you dating charlie blah, blah, blah. we're not exclusive so i feel like if you're in that stage where you're not not exclusive and you're just talking or whatever trying to figure out if you really want to be in a relationship then you wouldn't put your relationship on camera that is like literally my whole thing if you're it, like if you feel like you're not in an exclusive like relationship like you're tied down to each other then i don't think you should like post videos of each other like being all coupley i mean i get it you'll get clout from that and all the other stuff um, I'm not accusing them of being clout chasers. I'm just saying, like, I get it. You'll get, like, some form of clout from it. But I just don't think that if you're talking to someone, you don't, like, show it to the whole world that you could or could not be in a relationship. Like, you usually, like, you don't usually, like, keep it to yourself sometimes. Like, some people don't keep it to themselves, but they don't put it on the internet. They usually just tell their friends that they're talking to them or something like that. Most people don't put it on the internet, and that is a problem with these influencers, and that's probably why most of their relationships don't work out because they put it all over the internet, and the internet is, like, toxic. So... But yeah, that's all I really got to say about it. I feel like Chase Loki used Charlie because he kept saying they're not exclusive. Yet he kept like they keep they kept doing videos together as if they were exclusive. And I feel like if you're not exclusive, then you keep it to yourself, right? Would you? I would. Like because I wouldn't want like I just wouldn't want anything to mess that up. Like I would just want to get to know them before I feel like do I want to be with them or do I not want to be with them? Like, why, why, what, why? Stop saying you're not exclusive. You clearly were and Charlie clearly wanted to be. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about the topic. I honestly don't really care about the relationship. I just don't like the fact that he kept saying that they're not exclusive, but you post about your relationship. Y'all just need to be around but I, when I be ranting about this stuff because I have some good pointers. So yeah, anyways, we're going to get into the next topic. So the next topic I have is it's really not even a big topic. It's something I did I did watch the video talking about this. Like I watched the full video about it. Unlike with like Daisy and Thomas. I, I just didn't. I would have watched Daisy's, not Thomas. I don't really care about him that much. I would have watched Daisy's, but kind of got distracted. But basically this drama. Okay, so hopefully there are no more interruptions because I'm really trying to get this video out because I really need to voice my opinion. But basically, uh, the next drama is the cover and Alex and like Dana drama. So, um, I, I don't have a lot to say about it because I did watch this video and I was literally like, I've seen some other videos about how Alex reacted to it. I don't think cover really had a reply to it and like, Alex replied, it was very sucky, so I feel like everything Dana said in her video was basically accurate because he didn't say anything about, oh, she was lying. He uh, Literally, all he said was, oh, that happened a long time ago, da 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 So what I have to say about it, if you really, if you don't know about it, basically, Dana was like, like, Cover and Alex, when they were, like, dating, Dana was kind of, like, in the middle because she was both of their, like, best friends or whatever, and she had to deal with their problems basically because every time they had problems they came to her about it and she helped them through it and like cover would be like cheating on alex with someone else and like cover would be like you need to stop this you need to break it off with him if you're serious about it because alex was like her best friend for like a good while and yeah so that was basically what happened and they ended up basically like basically like ghosting her or something but yeah so basically what I have to say about this, I don't see a problem with Dana coming out and saying that. And um yeah, so I don't I don't see a problem with that because like 
Alex, I know his his reaction to it. He was talking so. Oh, I don't think she should have done that. Should have brought it to the internet. It's it's mine and Kobe relationship. Da 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 da. Like it it wasn't just about you guys. It was about your friendship with Dana. So she had the right to put that out there. You know, because it wasn't just about your relationship. It wasn't a whole video about your relationship. It was about your friendship with her. So, so I feel like she had the right to do that video. Maybe, like, she should have asked permission for some parts. But I think for the most part, she wasn't in the wrong. And, you know, the drama, it's not that bad. It, it was basically just showing how they basically, like, treated her very wrong. And how she literally helped them through so many things. I don't think they should have ghosted her. Like, that, that was wrong. And I don't think Alex should react talking about oh it's our relationship she shouldn't have put it on the internet it's not about her it's about me and Cover. Da, da, da. it's not just about you and Cover. why don't you understand that it's about your friendship with her too because she stuck with you guys through thick and thin she like she let Cover like live with her and her parents like she literally took care of Cover, and like you were her best friend alex so I just don't understand why he doesn't understand that it's not just about him, like his relationship. It's not just about that. It's about your relationship with Dana. Next topic. So the next topic is kind of dying down, but it was like really big when it happened. Um, um, but basically, um, basically this is a drama. It's it's once again with Lil Huddy, Chase Hudson. Um, him, Josh, and Bryce. If you're fluent in TikTok, you already know what I'm finna talk about. Okay. So, basically, what happened was, Chase, while he was non-exclusively dating Charlie, he slid into Josh's girlfriend's, her DMs. And he sent her some stuff that he should not have sent, apparently. Um, so, yeah. Anyways, we're not even going to get into it anymore. But basically, they made a diss track on it. And the diss track, it was, it was pretty funny. I liked the video. It was, it was very creative. But I feel like there was really no reason to make a diss track on him. Don't come at me. But, like, I just feel like... It was like unnecessary to do a diss track. You could have literally just hit him up. Like you didn't have to make a whole diss track about him, expose him, all these other stuff, like insult his appearance, all this other like tr trust me, I'm not even protecting Chase here. I don't like him at all. But I just feel like it was unnecessary to write a whole diss track about somebody for doing that. Like you should have just confronted him, you know? Like you literally could have pulled up to the hype house and be like, yo. What you doing in my girlfriend's DMs? I'm just playing. But yeah. And I feel like. And I feel like if it was really true. Because I'm partly not believing it. I feel like it is true. But I'm partly not believing it. Because like. If Chase like. Like if Chase really didn't do it. And then Nessa can literally just show him. Like what he said. Like she could show like other people. Like not post it on the internet. Because. Okay, so I'm like really going through it because my storage keeps going up. Like, anyway, so basically, long story short, Chase apparently cheated on Charlie trying to slide into someone else's DMs, and she had a boyfriend, so he got mad and made a diss track. And I just don't feel like it was any need to make a diss track. I mean, I like the diss track to be honest, it was a pretty funny diss track, and the video was pretty creative and all the other stuff. And to be honest, like, the song's kind of stuck in my head. But anyway, so they kind of exposed him. Um, and I think that was, like, the root cause of, like, their breakup. Like, like Charlie and Chase's breakup. It might have been. Or, like, I don't I don't really know. And I don't really care. But, yeah, that's all I really got to say for that topic. And we're getting into the last topic, which is basically a sum up of all of the topics, pretty much. So, yeah. Okay, so this last topic is basically some like around influencers in general. So, basically, I just don't feel like these influencers really realize like what they're doing in the moment that they're doing it. So, basically, what I'm saying is I don't think influencers realize that most of their demographic is very young. Like what Josh Richards 
what what he did i don't really want to speak it into existence but i saw it on one of the drama channel videos and what he did was very like out of line and he really did it like there was no reason to do that you have young children as your like as your demographic like they're your fans like even some of the things that he does on his youtube videos like i don't think they're like acceptable um and like the way he speaks knowing that he has like children in his fans you know i don't i don't really care i just okay so basically i'm trying to finish this quick but basically it's just some of these things that these influencers do and they really don't realize that it affects like their viewers like danielle Cohn, i was watching a video about her it wasn't a very positive video but basically they had a really good message and stuff danielle Cohn, she's not really relevant to me anymore you know but basically um basically the point was that she it's like it's not like i don't really necessarily like i don't like her but like it's just because of the things she does and knowing that she has like a young demographic okay so i'm back and i'm just trying to hurry up and finish this because my phone constantly keeps interrupting me telling me that my storage needs to be managed but basically what I'm just trying to get out is that I think these influencers are basically taking advantage of, like, what they have because they feel like they can really just do anything, like what, like, like what I said, what Josh did. And, like, Danielle Cohn, what I have to say about her is, like, it's just, but, like, it's just, like, with her, she's doing so many things and she has literally, like, a younger demographic, even if most of them are probably, like, the same age as her or technically like really like over the age of 14 which is real age but um the but basically she does these things and some of her some of her like fans are like younger than her and she does like she dresses the way she does she acts the way she does like she acts like she's way older than she actually is and yeah and i feel like it's just not a good effect on her younger like viewers because they're gonna think oh this is okay because my favorite person in the world is doing it and everything and i just don't feel like it's right like she could argue that she's 16 all she want but whether you're 16 or 14 what you're doing is not okay so i really don't care whether you're gonna argue that you're 14 or 16 clearly you're 14 but that's not the point the point is that it doesn't matter how old you are at this point like if you're you keep saying you're 16 but even if you are that doesn't justify what you're doing and the way you're dressed dressing and everything 16 year olds don't dress like that and if they do then they're just as bad as you point blank period anyway she's 14 that's all i gotta say um but yeah i just feel like it's not it's literally not even all influenced because some some influencers really care about their fans and they really try to have a positive effect on them and you know like make sure that they're going in the right direction and everything and yeah like i just feel like some of these influencers are really just taking like they're re i don't know what i'm really trying to say but they're basically like taking advantage of their power that they have you know like they feel like they can really do whatever they want and not have a big consequence to it. Like they think they could say the N word and because they have a big fan base, not every like even if they do get hate for it, they're still gonna have some fans that are gonna be on their side and that's the only thing that matters. That they're like, Oh, I'm probably gonna have more fans than haters, all this other stuff. I already got haters, it doesn't matter what I do. Like I don't know why people just think that they can really just do anything and get away with it. I mean some people do get away with it. I don't I don't think that's like I don't think that's okay i think that's a problem that fans just eventually get over it because i just don't get over it and like these influencers nowadays like i miss the musically days because the musically days were way better than tiktok like there's so much more things going on like i don't like i wasn't really like i was on musically but i wasn't really like i don't think there was really much drama on musically but there's like way like a hundred and ten times more drama on TikTok than Musically ever had. Like, I'm I'm saying like I was on Musically, but I wasn't to the point where I knew all the drama. I don't even think there was drama, but TikTok is so much worse than Musically, and it's such a bad thing. Like TikTok is a place where a lot of people like to express themselves, do whatever they want, but they always have to deal with constantly like being judged by other people, constantly like 
seeing all these other people flex or whatever seeing all these other people trying to show how they're better than other people it's just a lot of things on tiktok that are just so toxic and you know i could be like a hypocrite because i'm on tiktok but like i'm not a person who just like i don't like i'm i'm not a person who follows someone and like i just look at their tiktoks whenever they like i don't have nobody anybody's notifications on i mean i do but like that was from when that that was literally from musically like i didn't i haven't really put anybody's notifications on so it's not like that like i'm on tiktok just to do videos on tiktok i'm not on tiktok to see other people's videos you know i could scroll on the for you page but like that's that's just for fun you know other people see it as a career and oh my god it's another thing with these influencers they're literally freaking like dropping out of school just to pursue tiktok like that i don't see that as a good thing and then they keep calling tiktok hard work oh my god girl it is not hard work to do a tiktok and for people who say it is girl get a job stay in school stop dropping out anyways that's all basically i gotta say this video is pretty long i already know i'm not even gonna say i would i hope this video isn't too long because i already know it's gonna be long because i kind of went off because i i really wanted to get my like opinion out there i know not a lot of people are gonna see it and you know that's okay because hopefully in the future more people will see it and hopefully by then tiktok will either be dead or it just won't be as drama filled so yeah Basically, I'm just tired of drama on TikTok. It's so freaking stupid. And they get mad over the most stupid things. And they do the most stupid things. And it, it's just annoying, you know? So, yeah. I'm officially done with this TikTok drama stuff. Um, I could come back for a part two video if I could find any other drama to talk about. But if not, oh well. So, yeah. That's basically all I had to talk about. I hope you guys enjoy. And I hope you guys have a super duper duper, duper sparkly sparkly day. Bye.